Okay, so what's making you suspect your boyfriend is hooking up with your best friend? Well, so they started hanging out a lot okay. more yes. without me. Um, and then they would go on lunch dates without me. Yeah. Um, I've seen messages, they say, I love you in there. Like, you know, I mean, I would understand if it was me telling her mm -hmm. I love you, but you, absolutely not. Okay, then I guess I could see how that could be weird, but I, yeah, I understand. So how did they react when you confronted them? Um, actually, I never confronted them. That's why I'm here today on the oh, show well, okay. to grab him, to tell him. Got it. So how long have you and Dawson been together? We've been together for about a year and six months all together. A, a year and six months. Yes. Got it. And what has it been like in that year and six months? Um, at the beginning, it was truly amazing. We yeah. were always on trips. Um, we did a lot of stuff together. Oh, y'all look adorable. Yes. We, like, traveled a lot of the world together, and it was just amazing. And mm. then it started to go downhill. Um, so we had a hurricane in Louisiana. We had our first apartment, and then the hurricane took it. We started living together within four months after we were together, mm. and then the hurricane came, so we ended up having to move out because they kicked everybody out of our apartment complex and told us, like, hey, look, it's damaged. Four months together and started moving in together. Yes. How old are you? I'm 18. 18 years yes. old. Okay. But I got emancipated. Got and, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understand that, but I, I was more so thinking about being so young and making the commitment to move right. in with somebody. Right. You know? Okay. So I just want to know, has he ever cheated on you before? Yes. He has cheated yes. on you. What happened? Has it been physically? No, that, that I know of, that I know of. Um, but like, I'll have mess, I'll go through his phone while he's sleeping and they'll have messages with other guys in there. He'll mm. send pictures to other guys. If you want to be with me, why are you doing that? Well, let's hear what Dawson's side of this story. Everyone welcome Dawson to the show. <laughs> hey Dawson. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. You too. Welcome to the show. So take a seat for me. So I gotta ask you point blank. Are you hooking up with his best female best friend? No, I am not hooking up with his female best friend. Yes, we are really close, but I've been trying to have this conversation with you for about four months now. Mm -hmm. And you always just no, neglect to it, you push me not. away. Yeah, no, I didn't. That is what you no, do. No, no, because you always want to get there and argue about it. But and there's... then we never get a resolution. So we need to get a resolution here, and that's why we're here today, get a resolution. Do you all always argue when he tries to bring up this? Yes, normally he'll start, he'll get angry with me. He does not want to talk about the situation. Do you, do you get angry? Yes, I, absolutely, because that's my best friend. So, and then you, you don't want to, like, you barely want to talk about it. He says he want to talk about it, but we're here now. He wants to talk so about it. So you're not really angry, you're hurt. I'm hurt. The I'm hurt, the I'm hurt, hurt and angry. angry. I am. I'm both. Okay, you're both. both. Uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever exchanged inappropriate messages with his best friend? No, I did not. I, just more of... But you get the I love you to my best friend. I mean, it's I, a best friend. She's there. She's there but, all the time. But that's not your best friend. You're telling her I love you. Dawson, how do you identify? I just want to be clear on this. Uh, I am gay, but it from so, yeah, I could yeah. be bi. I, I so would say I'm bi. bi. Yeah, I'll identify as bi. I mean, that's very in, important to establish because you look at these two people in a couple and you're just like, oh, these two gay guys. This is never happening. Right. But if he identifies as bi, then there's a possibility of this. Okay, Colby, did you know that Dawson um, identified as bi? No, I thought he was 100% gay. Oh, so you never had that conversation? Right. We never, it was never brought up. Dawson, why did you bring that up to him? I feel, my, more of my standpoint, I rely a lot more on feelings. I personally feel it doesn't matter if a person's bi, gay, straight, or anything. If you truly love that person, you truly want to be with that person, then that, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, it, nothing matters of a label. Okay, so you told my producers you almost had sex with his best friend. What did you mean by that? Oh. There was definitely a Kobe, night. Kobe, I saw your face. You didn't know that. <laughs> no, I okay. did not. There was definitely a night that we kind of got a little close, but it was always, it was never, it was never something that would have started because we just both recognized what was going on and it was kind of like, no, that's not, that's not at all what I want because mm -hmm. I do want to be a Kobe at the end of the day. Okay, so I think I'm ready to unlock both of y'all phones. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, when it came to Dawson's phone, we checked apps, we checked photos, I checked texts, I checked phone numbers and calls and just overall the message on the phone. When it came to apps, Dawson, you have matched and communicated with 130 people on one dating app in the last 40 days. Oh. <laughs> 
When it came to photos, you received and saved 11 sexually explicit photos. Thank you so much. And um, the reason this one was interesting of why we brought this one to attention is because this photo was sent and it was sent on Christmas because in the photo, you see, he sent this photo and used the icon Merry Christmas wow. to send it to someone else. Really? Really? So over Christmas time. Christmas, the day this, of Christmas. This is and a new we were photo together. that you sent and then we put Merry together, Christmas on And this is what yeah. you're doing. We're, we were together on this day and you sent So you sent a picture. new photo during yep. Christmas oh, to someone else. Wow. Okay, well we're not done yet. When it comes to text messages, there were actually no text messages found between Dawson and your best friend. But when we checked the rest of the phone, there were 235 interactions between Dawson and your best friend on Snapchat that I couldn't find because it was deleted. Wow. So it, it was a mixture but of photos and messages. But you did, I told you, I knew I caught you deleting stuff. You were doing a lot more than what you're saying. But honestly, I'm doing all these things recently because I'm getting fed up of you treating me how you treat me. You had a conversation with me recently that you would sleep with someone else. And I was like, kind of just, okay, well, I need to move on then if you're going to do it. Oh, you but, said that? Did you say that? I did. Was it trying to be spiteful or did you mean it's it? Very spiteful. Mm -hmm. I, I want, like, I despise you in some point because of what you did. And let's so talk about... what about the photo, though? Because you said that on Christmas, and that's, like, specific. To send a nude to somebody and then hashtag it Merry Christmas with the, you know, yeah. thing is a, pretty, is, is a pretty clear sign of, like, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah. Do you want to explain that to him? Honestly, that day, I'm pretty sure, if I can remember, we did get in a huge argument. So that's why you did yeah. it? Yeah, you sent it. Because we got in an argument. Is that what you're going to do every time we're in an argument? Honestly, that would be truly, like, you, that would spite you. Why would you, it spite? Why? Because you treat me like I am nobody. You could talk to anybody. You talk to these people. And I feel like I have to look better. I feel like I have to be nicer this way. You'll not want to talk to me sometimes, so I feel like, what's my problem? So, Dawson, because I don't want you to fall fully on the sword, because we still don't know what's in his phone. So, what do you think that we'll find in Kobe's phone? Do you think anything at all? He's told you right now that he's, you've told me right now that he's made threats to you that he's going to go sleep with somebody else. I definitely else. think there's something. You think there's something in his yeah. phone? Kobe, is there anything you think we're going to find in this phone? Mm -hmm. um, we went through your phone, Kobe, and we unlocked apps, photos, and we went through your phone in general as well. Kobe, when it came to your phone on apps, you as well have matched and communicated with 170 people on one dating app over the past three years. One of those years, you two were together, so... There is that. Now, when it came to photos, Kobe, you saved only one explicit photo from someone else. Now, the biggest thing that was a big eye-opener for me is, Kobe, in the past 52 days, you had 216,417 interactions with the same man, all romantic in nature. Exactly. Exactly what I thought. But... So do you want to talk about that? Yes, absolutely. 216,000. Do you see that number right there? <laughs> 260. Exactly. And they were all romantic in nature. I specifically told you who that was, and you, you could tell me who that was. So did he tell you that he was talking to somebody else? He told me he was talking with someone else, but he never told me that, that's the said friend. Yes. That is the said friend. Oh, that's friend. the friend that's yes. sleeping that on the couch? The yep. Is he really sleeping on the couch? Yeah. Have you had sex or in the course with the other person? Remember, I just went through your phone. We talked about it, but I have, like, never, like, I've never been able to do it because I was stuck on him. Still in love with him. Right. I'm still in love with Dawson, mm -hmm. and, I mean, I could have these conversations, but they didn't mean anything to me at all. Mm. That's a lot of energy to put in someone else. 216 to say that it doesn't mean anything else. This other guy you were talking to, his emotions are fully involved in you. He is fully attached, and you know that. So right. it's kind of hard for you now to say, well, I'm doing it in spite because that means you're playing with people's emotions. Right. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. not okay. Right. I got to tell you, the truth of this matter is, is that you two are young, sweet men who are trying to figure yourselves out. 
and should be having the freedom to explore the world. Right. You should be having the freedom to do what you need to do to find out who you are, to sleep with who you want to, without these boundaries and expectations that neither of you actually want to hold up to. Because you over here texting and sexing photos and doing stuff, you over here in a whole full over of relationship. You a full on relationship. Okay, I was reading these messages like, this ain't just boyfriend? And so, both, neither of y'all want to be in this right now. I think what has happened is because, unfortunately, and this is where we got to get real, right. because of the trauma that you experience and because of the rejection you experience, this is the person who said, I see you and I accept you. And so you're holding on to that because you're afraid at such a young age of more people rejecting you or more, of losing more people. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I do feel that. I feel that. But yeah. I, I do love him. I know you love him. So I think the first thing we need to do is establish, like, even if you're not in a relationship, is he family for you? Yeah. Will you yeah. always be there for him? Always, yeah. Let anything, him know. anything that you need, and you know this, I'll have your back through anything. You're going to have to start to figure out how to trust that. And it's going to take time. But I promise you, at this young age, if you can start to practice trusting that people won't leave me and people won't reject me, and I understand what you've been through, so it's going to be difficult. Right. But the more you can practice that is the more you're not going to get into relationships that are unhealthy and stay in them just because you don't want them to leave. Right. He's not going to leave. This is family. He's going to be there for you. I'm going to tell you all something. The beauty of sort of um, LGBT relationships is that we don't have the same definitions or, def you know, the same. We don't process the same sometimes as straight relationships. Yeah. Right. My first boyfriend is still to this day my best friend. We call, we talk. He's, he's like a brother to me now. You don't have to fear that you're going to lose him. Right. But what I will tell you is that fear is bringing up a very negative side of you where you're then saying the things to him that are hurtful. And sometimes people who have been rejected, they start to test people to see if they're going to, I can push them away and say things to see if they're going to stay. And right. that's a personality flaw. And you've got to fix that now at 18. Can you apologize, Sam? I'm sorry, Dawson. And you know, I love you a lot. I, I will be the first to admit I'll tell you stuff, and it, I don't mean it, and it's out of, like, a lot of stuff, but the way it comes off to you, it probably does seem like I mean it, and I'm very sorry, and I don't, like, I'll work on everything. Can you receive that? Yes. Yeah, and can y'all break up? <laughs> Officially? <laughs> go, go ahead and do it here. That's going to be a happy ending for me. Oh, love you. Love you. But it got to end. Got to end. Amen. Right. Thank you. So, <laughs> no. Listen, on this show, sometimes we'd be like, hug to stay together. But sometimes <laughs> hugging and going apart is going to be the healthiest for y'all. Yeah. Now right. that y'all broken up, y'all are next door neighbors, y'all are friends. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all going to be okay together. All right? Everyone, thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.